it for 10 minutes. Um, so the past. Um, over the past 25 years or so of KDE uh, EV, it was a very conscious decision that uh, KDE EV doesn't employ and contract people to work on the actual uh, products of KDE directly. And there were many reasons for that, among them that the organization just wasn't mature enough to handle that. Um, there was fear of the organization meddling in development decisions that should be with the teams. Um, it was quite a large overhead. Um, and it was a bit hard to figure out how we can fund the, the basics of the organization and much needed groundwork projects that maybe don't have so much visibility and, and still are really important for us and need um, funding. So that's why we stayed away f uh, from that so far. Um, regardless uh, of that, there was still a huge need uh, in several projects to do that, to do project-specific fundraising, uh, which then led to the project setting up their own independent foundations, for example, um, or people doing, uh, trying to do individual fundraising. And all of that comes with quite a few drawback and risks for the people involved, which is not cool. And because of all of that, um, for, uh, um, the year before last, I think, uh, we started thinking about this Make a Living initiative, um, where we tried to figure out how can uh, working professionally on KDE's project um, and products be done in a way that the KDEV can support and what should KDEV do to make that happen. And the first results of that whole process are out now, um, which means we are trialing uh, project-specific fundraising and we're trying to make that possible. And we are trialing this with Caden Life uh, first because it's a very attractive project and uh, a very eager team uh, that wants to do amazing things. So we're trying to figure out along this trial how we can make this work and how this can work for everyone involved. Um, and yeah, with that, I'm going to hand over to Sean Baptiste to talk a bit about the Cadian Life side of that. Yeah, thank you. So, um, yeah, I came here. You, you already heard a lot about uh, Cadian Life during uh, uh, this afternoon's presentation. I, I'm here to also present a perspective from the um, uh, application maintainer. So, and also, I came here to, to say a big thank you to Cadian's working groups who really helped us uh, on this. So, our uh, challenges were. Yeah, uh, quite uh, usual, I think. So the application was quite successful. We um, we have now multi-platform support. We have more than 100,000 uh, monthly downloads. So it's quite uh, be becoming quite popular. But uh, our team is uh, is not growing as much. So we have uh, a small team, maybe between two and three developers and uh, three or four people around doing other other important stuff uh, on the on the application. So it's it's, it, it has not been growing uh, as much as uh, the popularity of the, of the application. So the workload is increasing on us and uh, we, we can't uh, progress uh, as fast as we, as we want. So what can we do about this? One thing that helped us is uh, system automation, having a CI, having a <coughs> binary factory that produces uh, um, uh, binaries is something that really helps us, but the other thing uh, was to uh, launch a, a fundraiser to help us have more free time to work uh, on, uh <coughs> on Kedin Live. So for the past few years we had uh, discussion, discussions about how to, how to do this, and uh, it's almost exactly one year ago that uh, I emailed the KD EV board to, to announce that we, we plan to do a fundraising, and we started to work together and the uh, fundraising la launched <coughs> sorry um in in september so it was um in fact quite quite fast because we started to we signed a contract in march launched the uh, fundraising in september and it after 12 days we are um, 
now at uh, 11,000 euros, so it's uh, uh, close to our goal, so we're really happy, so it's a, yeah, it's a reason to celebrate. And this is, uh, uh, yeah, I re really have uh, to, to say that we, we were helped by the fundraising and promo group from KD because we, um, we didn't have the experience or the time to, <coughs> to work on the, on the campaign. So this was really helpful. And now the <coughs> challenges that remain for us are first to um, make this campaign not just a one shot, but to have something that is sustainable, that is allows us uh, to work on the long term, to have a, um, a bigger team. To also, uh, we need to increase our presence, so we, we will need more promo to go to events, to be more known. And the last point is, uh, of course, to, to keep having fun, because it's, it's also because we, why, we, why we do this. Uh, despite having money in, involved, we want to, yeah, to keep fun uh, developing our, our application. And that's it. Thanks. Thank you, Toby. Um, that brings us to what's in the future. Um, so as we talked about, we're now trialing this with Kena Life. Um, and for a while, and we'll uh, support this very extensively. And any help with that is appreciated. So we can, for example, move the fundraiser over the go post. Um, so you all can help make this uh, a success. Um, once we've gained some experience with this and are happy with it, uh, we will open this up to potentially more projects. And if this is something you consider for your projects, then please do reach out to the board and or the fundraising working group uh, so we can talk about it. Thank you very much. And with that, we are moving on to Harald. No, to Albert, sorry. 